BTEC Applied Science Unit 16 and this video is about assignment C D task 1. C and D are lumbered together into one assignment and there's task 1 and there's task 2 and this video is about task 1. So it's a research and report uh, so basically you find information and you put it in a report uh, your teacher should go over a lot of it with you over the tricky bits section one section two section one is about stars section two is about the universe so the life cycle of stars uh, small and big mass the HR diagram the different types of star what we call the different spectral classes of star uh, oh be a fine girl kiss me uh, and then three named stars talk a bit more about these on the next slide and then section two is about the universe uh, redshift you should remember from GCSE Hubble's law uh, from that the age of the universe uh, leading to the Big Bang uh, and then other evidence for the Big Bang, such as cosmic microwave radiation, CMBR. Uh, how we measure distance in space, um, galaxies, the evolution of galaxies, uh, and then the future of the universe. So section one is about stars. Um, information you should present information about the life cycle of a star like our sun uh, and then the life cycle of much bigger stars much more massive stars uh, do a poster for both a poster showing the life cycle of both stars and then lots of notes to go with it lots of detailed notes explaining what's happening at each stage what happens to the forces involved you've got uh, the fusion forces pushing outwards you've got gravity pulling inwards and for the different stages in the star's life the balance between these forces changes uh, what kind of detail do you need to go into well you should certainly be mentioning things like electron and neutron degeneracy pressure Schwarzschild radius, event horizons, point singularities, quite a lot of detail. There's a lot of this stuff on my astronomy website. There's tons and tons on the internet you should find, but the point is plenty of detail. Yeah. The types of star, as I said, uh, O, B, A, F, G, K, M are the different spectral classes. How are they different in temperature, in size, in composition? Any other differences between them? Yeah. Uh, and then the HR diagram, the Hertzsprung Russell diagram. What is it? Do your own poster of an HR diagram and explain how astronomers use it to explain the evolution of stars. Maybe show the evolution of our sun on an HR diagram. Three named stars, pick three stars, for example, Betelgeuse or Rigel or Altair, three different classes of stars uh, and find information about them, how far away they are, uh, what is their absolute magnitude, what is their apparent magnitude, what spectral class they are, whereabouts in their lifetime they are, whereabouts are they, would they be on an HR diagram. So three different types of star named, they have names such as Rigel or Altair, Aldebaran, etc. Okay, uh, at different stages in their life. Section two is about the universe. Okay, so what evidence is there for the Big Bang? Uh, explain redshift. What is redshift all about? What is Hubble's law? show the graph of recession velocity against distance when you actually start researching it you'll know what i'm on about how do we get the age of the universe from hubble's graph uh, what is cmbr and how does it help to support the big bang theory um, 
The amount of hydrogen and helium in the universe is evidence for the Big Bang. What is Olbert's paradox? Measuring distance in space, uh, these are the different units astronomers use, the AU, the astronomical unit, what is a light year, what is a parsec. Uh, how do we use something called heliocentric parallax to measure the distance to stars? How do we use standard candles? There's one type of standard candle, a Cepheid variable or Cepheid variable you need to talk about. This is what Hubble used to measure the distance to galaxies. He used Cepheid variables. What are the different types of galaxy and uh, how do galaxies evolve? Uh, certainly mention quasars when you're talking about galaxies. Then the fate of the universe what will happen to the universe in the future? Will it be a closed and open or a flat universe? Uh, and mention dark energy as well. What should you include? Well, uh, it, look in the specification. The specification is, basically says what you should be going over, what you should mention in your reports on pages 130 to 132. Uh, what do you need for a past merit distinction? Look on page 135 to 137. Okay, that covers tasks one and two together. Uh, how much should I write? Or rather, how much should you write? Well, we're not after a book. This is one problem some of my students, they get very worked up about it and they start writing their own book about astronomy. It, it's a difficult balance. If you're not sure, ask your teacher. But I would say that the whole report I've just talked about should be 10 to 15 pages, I would say, as a rough guideline. But we're talking font size 11. We're talking plenty of detail, OK, uh, plus diagrams. OK, it's, it's, it's a tricky one. How much should you write? 